Well, thanks for joining me as we're continuing going through the book of Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, um, on the life of Jesus, read Matthew 5.10. And the Sermon on the Mount, we can never find any speech, any talk, any given presentation that can match the wisdom and the, the depths of um, a righteousness that anyone can present to us, as we can see from the words of Jesus here. Here in 5.10, he says, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Unfortunately, in the world, you will find that people who are doing <laughs> that which is right, that which is good, that which is pure, fingers are going to be pointed to them. That happens in the world, unfortunately. But Jesus is saying here that for the believers, for the followers of Christ, there are going to be those who are going to be persecuted. The saints of God, in fact, Paul says, all that would live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. So persecution, being harassed, being beaten, being ostracized, being um, considered scum, mocked at, laughed at, even thrown in prison and kicked out of homes, that is part of um, the price that we pay for following Jesus. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So don't think it's strange when even though you as a believer, you're doing the right thing. You know that your heart is right. You're living for God. You, you know, whatever wrong you've done, you've confessed it and you're trying to do better. You love people. You forgive them. You're trying your best to help and to do what God has called you to and yet people look at you and they don't like you. They mistreat you and things like that. And even to the point of persecution. And he goes on, he says, Blessed are you, blessed are you when others revile you. They revile you. They, they curse. They swear. They hate you. They scold you. And they persecute you. And they utter all kinds of evil against you. Falsely on my account. Blessed are you. So these are things going to happen. The church today is maligned. Um, Satan is called the accuser of the brethren. And people concoct and people in misinterpret so many things. And they have so many things to throw at the church. But Jesus said this comes with the territory. Because we are in the world, but we are not of the world. Satan, the God of this world, will always try to malign the church and say evil things about the people of God. But that's just what it is. But this is what he said. They will utter all kinds of evil against you falsely. Falsely. There are those who are followers of Christ and they have done wrong things, they have said wrong things, and their behavior really is inconsistent with the scripture. Their behavior, their attitude, their words, and things like that, completely inconsistent with the New Testament teachings and the teachings of Christ. But Jesus is not talking about that. Jesus has, has said, blessed are you when others revile you and they persecute you and they utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Blessed are you. Lord, we thank you today that we are followers of Christ. And we thank you, God, that you will help us to continue to trust you and follow you despite what is coming against us. Help us to live right, to do right, and to trust you in the name of Jesus.